Oh no, don't hug me. Now you're like trying to be sweet and touchy because you are guilty of hiding our relationship from your friends. Yeah, definitely. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. So I don't think it's a big deal. Good morning! Magandang umaga! Ayong buntag! Hi dad! What you doing? Eating, Eating the rest of Emma's food. <laughs> Is it good? Mm -hmm. uh, those spaghettis are like a week old. That's why she didn't eat it. I don't know, she doesn't like the taste of a week old spaghetti. What are you doing, little guy? You trying to get the camera for mommy's hand? What are you doing? Doing okay? <laughs> so I had a dentist appointment this morning about... Well, it was about my um, gum receding from my lower tooth. And I was supposed to have a tissue graft uh, today. Tissue graft meaning they're gonna get like some tissue out of my like the the roof of my gum and then put some on like the, the part where my gum is re receding from the tooth but um the dentist told me that she's he's gonna check me a, a year after if it goes really bad or if it, it recedes more because apparently it's not that severe to have a what do you call that surgery for it or for him to do a surgery on my not a surgery what do you call it procedure to do a procedure on my I mouth or on my gum but yeah that's what happened this morning and now i just got home and emma's having her milk hi little girl Emma's like, whenever she has her milk, she's in the zone and you can never, like, you can't, you can't bother her, like, you can't have or take her milk out of her mouth or whatever. She's just in the zone. Alright, I have a question here for us to answer. Better not be how old am I. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not about your age. She asked, what's her name? Her name's Army Girl's Dad. Army Girl's Dad. Hello Stephanie and Mike. I just found your YouTube channel a couple of days ago and I am enjoying watching video after video after video. My question for you, Stephanie, since you have been in the since you have been here in the US for four years now, have you started thinking in English yet? Or do you still think in Tagalog and then translate it before you speak? Yes, I have I have I have been thinking in English. Yeah, um, I, I actually have like English dreams now. So that's pretty awesome, right? Okay, here's another question from Kiel, Kiel Cutie X. It's spelled K-E-W-L, Kiel, Kiel, Kiel. <laughs> what are the Filipino food that Kuya Mike don't like or not a fan of? And same question for you, Ate Stephanie. What American food that you don't like? Like no chance for you to love or eat more often, even eat more often, even you live there for years. What are the Filipino food that you don't like? <laughs> the intestine. The um. Is it pig intestine? The isaw. It's the chicken intestine. Yeah, it's the isaw. It's the barbecue isaw. Yeah, barbecue isaw also tastes like poo poo. I like pretty much everything else. Yeah, you don't like sinigang. No, apparently I don't like sinigang. You don't like sour soup. You know, like what I make with like this shrimp. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. The shrimp sinigang. What else? Shrimp paste and fish sauce in general are <laughs> disgusting. Okay, so Mike doesn't like sinigang because he doesn't like sour taste and the uh, isaw. He, he said it tastes like poop. <laughs> American food that I don't like is... Well, I eat pizza but I don't like eating it like every day, you know? 
or I can eat like pizza every day if it's like Hawaiian and it's like thin crust but that's pretty much it yeah and like you know how like pepperoni greasy pizza ugh. I'm not a fan of burgers <laughs> you guys are big on burgers here what else sandwiches yeah I'm not like anything that has bread on it you know <laughs> I eat bread in the Philippines whenever I, I drink coffee and I like dip it in my coffee but but like eating bread with like meat and other stuff on it I don't I don't really eat it that much I mean, I mean I, I, I'll eat it if I don't have any other options <laughs> but but I won't eat it on a daily basis so there it is. I don't like sandwiches, I don't like pizza, and I don't like burgers. We have another question. When are you gonna shave your beard? Because she said you look better without beard. You look more handsome without beard. Who said? At the Corazon Ranyo. There you go. When are you going to cut your beard, Mike? You're more handsome without it. No time soon. So Mike and I were just talking about how his friends how his friends found out that he was engaged and I was just telling him that he hid our relationship from his friends his friends didn't know that he was engaged or he's dating someone not until they found the how did they how did they find out do you want to tell them yourself mr. relationship hider were you like ashamed of me no then why were you hiding it from them? Why were you hiding me from your friends? According to Ryan, I put pictures of us on the wall in my house wearing our I love my fiance shirts. And that's how they found out. Because apparently, he never mentioned me to his friends. And then when his friends were visiting his house in Japan, they saw the pictures and his friends were like, Oh my god, you're married? What? And it's like, yeah, I'm And uh, I think Mike has been hiding me from his friends. And he keeps denying it. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing? Being what? engaged. How is it embarrassing being engaged? You're embarrassed to be engaged with me? Because all my friends are like, young and unmarried and I was like the first one isn't that something that you should be proud about no no you guys are weird it's like a stepping stone of life you know what I mean it's like an accomplishment that you shouldn't be you shouldn't be freaking embarrassed about no don't hug me now you're like trying to be sweet and touchy because you are guilty of hiding our relationship from your friends yeah, definitely. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. So, I don't think it's a big deal. It's a big deal for me. Why? Because you hid our relationship. I didn't hide our relationship. I even introduced you to my parents, like two months of us dating. That's kind of hurtful. I am just, re I am just like, discovering this right now I never thought I will I will never look at you the same way ever again yeah. yes so it's it's only because you didn't feel cool in front of your friends my friends were still in that state where they none of them were ready to get married and then you wanted to fit in but I was ready to get married, and I wasn't really ready to share that with them. Why? Because they don't want to hear about it. I think if they're really good friends or they're real friends, they would want to hear about it, and they'd be happy for you. I don't know how to feel about this. Okay, I'm going to go get my part. Go ahead. Go leave me. Never think of me ever again. I'm gonna get my haircut too. Okay, go get your haircut. Don't touch me, no. No. Go get your haircut. Might as well leave your might as well leave your ring.
What? That way Why? you don't have to tell people that you're married because you're embarrassed about your wife. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't don't hug me. I'm hugging you. I don't care. Don't hug the, the person that you're embarrassed about. <laughs> I'm not embarrassed about you. You're embarrassed about the fact that you were engaged? Yes. Okay. Alright, lunch is done. I'm having salmon. I just put um, salt and pepper and drizzled some um, olive oil in it, rice, of course, and then some roasted Brussels sprouts. And yeah, that's my lunch for today. Look at this guy. Just had her, just had his haircut. Wah wah. Hey Liam, you got something on your face. What's that on your face? You got a little bit of something, something there. <laughs> Let's wipe that up. Wipey, 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 wipe. <laughs> Ach. <laughs> Ach. <laughs> Ach. You need a bath. You do need a bath. You want a bath? You want a bath? You want a bath? I think we're gonna call it a night. This, the babies are asleep and it's just me and dad hanging out. And yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Bye!